To look at your services, click on Start, go to Settings, then go to Control Panel. Then you can go to Administrative Tools and then look for Services. Now it may look a little bit different on your computer because in your case you may have a theme or you may have other things going on that make it look a little bit different, but basically you're going to find services that way. When you go into services, there's a list of services, the description and the status, and let's expand this a little bit here. Let's give us a better window. You also have logged on as startup type. So again, the name, the description, the status, the startup type, and log on as. You could simply go into startup type and look for everything that's automatic to tweak your services. You can go into the log on as and you can see what are local services versus network services. You can go to description, though that may not be that useful. The status, that could be very useful. Look at all the services that are presently running. So, or what I like to do, I like to look at things in alphabetical order because I, I mostly know what services I want on and off. In my article, you'll see it perform this way. You'll see me looking at them in the alphabetical listing because that's the way that I went through that list. It just simply went through every service and addressed what it does in a fairly simplistic manner. I don't go into great detail. This video is meant to rectify some of the damage people have done to their systems because they took my advice without any consideration. So actually, they didn't really take my advice. One of the things I mentioned is that you should try turning a service off to see what it affects. That doesn't really break anything. I don't care what the defectors will say. Turning a service off does not break things in and of itself. You can turn the service back on just as easily as you turned it off. If your system is healthy, if there's not something weird going on, um, I will say this disclaimer, if you have a systems administrator, do not torture him by going in here and messing with this stuff. Let the man or woman who are responsible for your network do their job and don't make their lives difficult by messing with services that may interrupt things they have going on in your network to do their job. So disclaimer out of the way, let's look at what damage you can do by turning off a service that you may later need. I want to look up a particular service that quite frankly I didn't really think I had any need for and that's terminal services. If you double click on it, you'll see a window pop up. If you for some reason can't double click or you have you don't have some method turned on that you can open that up that way, if you use your right mouse button, you have all sorts of options pop up. One of those is properties and that'll bring you to the same screen. I'm going to look under startup type and right now I have it set for automatic and you'll notice that the start and the stop are grayed out. That should indicate something to you. There is some program or some other service that has registered itself that it requires this particular service in order for it to run properly and that's why this is grayed out. If I went and turned off those dependent tools then I can have access to start and stop. If you'll notice we'll click on dependencies there are two other services that have registered themselves with this particular service as being dependent on this service. One is fast user switching capability. This is the system that lets you go to log off temporarily or switch to another user so you don't have to lose your login information for one user to use in another account on the computer. The other one is the Windows Search. And Windows Search is a feature that I've enabled here. I downloaded the Windows Search or used the update with the uh, automatic update tool. And I have actually kind of liked the index search, although. I've got some complaints about that for maybe another video. So I could go and disable these and then it would let me do what I want. It would let me turn it off. But instead of doing that, let's do something else. Let's do what a lot of my readers did. Let's just click on Disable, apply it, hit OK, and go about our business. And at some point when the video restarts, I have restarted this computer and so what you're actually going to be seeing is the same computer with nothing else changed but for the fact that the system has rebooted. Okay, so we've rebooted the system. We're back up and running. I'm going to click on uh, Start, Settings, Control Panel. And again, inside a Control Panel, we're going to look for Administrator. And you'll notice that things aren't coming up real quick right here. There's something really funky going on with this computer. Um, a lot of times people just ignore that. They just think, well, the computer's gotten old, you know, problematic. And sometimes 
that's an indicator of something you cannot resolve. In this case, you'll notice we can't we can't get settings to come up or the control panel to come up, and that's a that's a good sign that something screwy is going on. I happen to know what's going on in this case, so I'm not just going to send myself an email asking what happened. I can't get the control panel easy. So let me show you what's going on here. I'm going to hit Control Alt Delete and click on Task Manager. When Task Manager comes up, I happen to know that Windows Search has totally locked up the system because Windows Search requires terminal services. The minute that I turn off that program, I mean instantaneously, Control Panel pops up. So it just totally locks up the system. Uh, Windows, the Microsoft guys wrote Windows Search and they wrote the operating system. Why they don't have a failover that tells you what's going on is beyond me. But the bottom line is there's lots of things in Windows that when one thing's turned off, another thing breaks and just completely fails to educate you on what the problem is instead just locks the system up. So you saw one really bad event that stems from turning off what seems to be a relatively benign service, terminal services. We're not on a network. I don't share this computer with anybody else. So, you know, what difference does it make? But I'm going to go in real quick. We're going back to Administrator Tools, Services, just to show you that that service has indeed been turned off. So we're going to look at Terminal Services. Scroll down. There's Terminal Services. And you'll see it's disabled and it's stopped. Now, the dependencies are still there. It still has the fast user switching capability and Windows Search are both still dependent. Apparently they don't know that this service is turned off and they're just going to behave very badly when I attempt to use them. So I'm going to minimize this. We're going to come back to that. Close that window. It's unnecessary now. And I want to go look at something else. If we go back to our task manager, you'll notice we don't have any usernames anymore. We have the CPU and the memory usage and we have the particular service name, but we do not have the username showing up. So if I wanted to look at services based on what user was accessing that service, that's no longer available to me. Let me show you how quickly that's remedied. Back over in the terminal services screen, go back to automatic, apply it, instantaneously the start button becomes available. Let's start the service up, click on OK, and we're going to minimize the screen again, go back to the task manager. Well, look, username's not showing up still. Ah, let's restart that, see what happens. Restart it, there's a task manager and the usernames are back. Now that's a small issue. To me, the search feature breaking is a bigger issue. The fact it totally locks up my computer is a huge, huge issue. And I guarantee you there are other things like fast switching, etc., that rely on terminal services, as I call it, a relatively benign service. But because so many people have programmed their programs and services, the people at Microsoft, um, or third-party vendors who create services, have interwoven their service or their program into the terminal services utility, we need to be thoughtful when we turn things off and don't break things that we want. Now to be honest with you, the username not showing up may not break my heart. The fact that I can't use fast switching between different users, quite frankly, that, that creates problems in and of itself. I would probably suggest you not use fast switching, that you actually force a person to save their stuff, their work, log off the computer, and log back on as a different user so that we don't end up with five or six different users in a household all independently running versions of software and using up resources turning the computer into an expensive paperweight. On the other hand you may have reasons to use those services and that's up to you to determine when it makes sense and when it doesn't make sense to turn on or off a service. I hope that video was useful and I hope you're considerate of the other people who use your network and your computer when you turn services on and off but also take the time to think about what you need so you don't break things you care about.